a fun project to annoy your family and your friends. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to make this whistle right here today and sometimes you know it's nice to just do something that's fun and you know it's good for your kids, your family, share it with your friends and just have a good time. So let's let's have a good time and just make a fun whistle project and it's super easy to do and hang on because I have a special surprise that I'll share at the end of the video. So hang on till the end because you're not going to want to miss this. All right, so we got to go out and pick out a tree that will be perfect for whistle making. Which one should we pick? Hmm. Good old chainsaw to cut down this live tree that's actually in bad shape. It's pretty rotten on the top. Timber! So let's plan out. We've got our long piece of wood, our log, from the tree. So let's make it how long? It'll be about this long. Perfect whistle length. <laughs> so let's erase off the ends from the long log. This is where we're going to cut it and make it this exact length. Whistle length. Cut it off. Careful you don't lose a finger. Watch your dog. Go on. There we go. Now, let's think about how we're going to design this thing so it will be a perfect whistle. This is a spade bit or a paddle bit. 5 8 inch because the dowel that we have, the dowel I bought, is 5 8 inches, so we want to paddle drill down the hole the same diameter as the dowel that we're going to slide in there. Now this is a wet tree. It's wet from rain and water and it's wet because it, it was alive. So I'm going to have to dremel it out here and smooth it. So that the dowel will slide in there. So this is where we're going to put the notch. Hmm. How should we design the notch? A little Pythagorean's theorem is necessary. <laughs> And you thought geometry wasn't important. So I'm using a plumber's saw here with a fine blade on it. A little bit coarser, a wood blade would be better. Now we got to think about the hole, you know, that we drilled down through the middle and how it's going to line up with the notch so we get our whistle effect. <laughs> And I think we got it perfect. So let's cut our notch in there. Don't forget that geometry. What would be the perfect thing? Hmm. And I'm going to use, again, the wood is really wet and stringy. So I'm using a little Dremel with a stone on it just to smooth things out. Now we got to design the dowel piece that slides into the hole that gives us our whistler. So 
So we slide the dowel in, just rough measurement to get the length. Cut it off a little extra. We'll trim it up when we're completely done. How am I gonna carve this? Hmm. So we're just gonna flatten off the dowel. You want a nice flat edge, so when you blow in the whistle, the air just goes in through that small hole. It's kind of like blowing across the Coke bottle or that. Now we'll just sand it down to get it smooth. And there's our dowel flat on one side. Perfect. And a little bit more math for the air volume for how our whistler is going to work. So basically, we just slide this in, and we play around with it until we get get it to whistle. So we gotta, you know, put it in, push it, pull it, twist it, get it to just the right spot, so we get a whistle. Then we glob some wood glue on it, slide it in there to the same place that we had it. and then let it set up and dry. So while it's drying, we'll just customize it a little bit. This is has nothing to do with the actual whistling, just something to give it a little design. Make it pretty. Hmm. What should I carve? Hmm. What should I carve? Hmm. So I'm just carving with a little tiny pocket knife, D-I-Y letters. The letters D-I-Y in the top of the, the whistle. Just for something fun to do. Woohoo! <laughs> And this is not easy to do in the wet wood. I actually polished it a little bit with uh, that little Dremel stone that I used earlier. And there we go, DIY. Now we'll, the glue's dried, we let it set. Now we're just cutting off that end of the dowel so it's smooth. It's all about living life happy, fun-loving, and carefree. And I made these two whistles. This one here is the one that I made in the video. And then I made this one too. And I'm going to give them away to somebody if you're interested in having them. I do ask, you know, we're simple homesteaders. So I do ask you cover the postage. So maybe something like $15, something like that to, to box it up and ship it to you. But uh, so this one is the one I made in the video. And this one is the second one that I made. So I'd have two to, to give away to you folks. So this is the other one that I made. And this is the one I made in the video. It's a little deeper sounding. So let me know in the comments and then we'll touch base. Subscribe. Watch another video. Live life DIY.